Hi, it's Joy at Mesquite Bean Fabrics. And what I want to show you today is our row by row. Say hi, Jane. Say hi. Jane just had a pretty haircut today. She's beautiful and soft and gorgeous. So this is our row. So the theme this year for Row by Row is Taste the Experience. So you cannot come to San Antonio and taste the experience without having tacos and margaritas, right? And we have heard in the past that some people were not thrilled with the amount of applique, so guess what? This row is all pieced, but we're gonna make it super easy for you. So here is our kit. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. You'll find the pattern, and the pattern will have a picture here that you're gonna be using. This is your guide. And one of the very first things that it says here is read through the instructions. So please do so. Read through the instructions before you start cutting. So let's go ahead and look at some of the fabrics that are in here. You have your background fabric, and when you open this up, You've got all of your strips that are right here, that everything that you need to make your margaritas, the glass, the confetti on the table, your tacos, everything that you need is right there, already pre-cut into one and a half inch strips. Then, you will also have this strange piece of fabric slash interfacing, and this is a Quilt Smart grid. Now, if you have never used Quilt Smart before, you're going to be amazed. This is going to give you really accurate seams and it's going to make it fun. It'll be like it'll be like a color by number or a puzzle or something for you to put together. So, first let's go through our instructions. The first page, you'll find all of your fabric requirements. Now, if you purchase the kit, you have everything you need. So at the very top here, we see cutting. So we're going to be doing our cutting. Jane, I need that. <laughs> we're going to be doing all of our cutting. So since our strips are already cut, we are just cutting these into one and a half inch squares. The colors that are already pre-cut to one and a half inch strips. So we're going to cut those into one and a half inch squares. Then you will have a 3 8 yard piece of your background fabric. So if you read your instructions all the way through first, it's going to show you that you need to cut a 5 inch strip off of this piece of fabric first, okay? So cut your 5 inch strip off and follow the instructions on how to cut your borders. So you're cutting your borders first. Then after you've cut your 5 inch strip, you can cut the rest into 1 and a half inch strips. So let's get cutting. All right, so we have gotten everything cut now. So this here is our five inch strip. This is gonna be cut into your borders. So we'll just set that aside for right now. These are your one and a half inch squares from your margarita prints, one and a half inch squares for your taco shell prints, one and a half inch squares of your confetti, your glass, your margarita glass, and these are your taco toppings. We have beef, we have cheese, we have tomatoes, and lettuce. So now that everything has been cut, we need to do a little bit of sewing. Oh, one thing I wanna mention first, these are cut at one and a half inch strips. Go ahead and leave them in strips because we don't have to necessarily cut these into um, all one and a half inch squares. We'll be able to use this in longer pieces on the Quilt Smart grid, and I'll show you that in a moment. But first, we need to sew some half square triangles. So in your pattern, you will find under placement that you do have a few half square triangles to make. So if we take a look at our row, you will see that the half square triangles are going to be for such things as the angle of your margarita or the angle of your margarita glass down there. You've got lots of half square triangles among your taco toppings. So I'm just going to show you real quick how we did those. It's very, very simple. So for this particular one, there's a lot of half square triangles that use the hamburger uh, beef square as well as your cheese square. So we're just going to put these squares right sides together. 
matching up all of your raw, your cut edges there. And you're just going to sew from corner to corner. If you want to draw a line, that's fine. I don't, just because it's kind of small. So I can pretty much eyeball this. And see, I'm sewing on my bad machine, but look, pretty soon I'm going to have a new one. All right, so now that we've done that, oh, see, this is horrible. All right, I'm tossing this one. Let's do another one. Can't wait for my Elna to get here. Okay, so we have a beef, and we have a piece of cheese, and I'm just going to take a little square, and I'm going to just make a little leader because obviously this machine doesn't love me. There we go. So now we have a little leader, and now I'm just going to sew from corner to corner. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. I bet my new Elna is not going to be this loud. Can't wait. Did I tell you I can't wait for my new Elna? So now I'm going to cut this uh, so that my seam allowance is at a quarter inch with my beautiful Appliquick scissors. These are gorgeous. So I'm just going to cut that to a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to take our half square triangle press our seams open, and now we have a nice half meat, half cheese, half square triangle. So now we have made some of our half square triangles and we are ready to start putting our puzzle of margaritas and tacos together. So what I'm going to do is try and do this upside down for you so you can see what's, uh, what's being put together. But I'm going to start in the upper right hand corner right here. So what I'm going to do is um, you can see that we're going to be working within the border. So this two, uh, two and a half inch piece on the side, those are your borders. And then you'll have a one and a half inch piece across the top and a one and a half inch piece across the bottom. And those are borders. So we're actually going to be starting about one and a half inches in. So you can see here, we're going to be starting on this side. And we're going to be making this margarita and a taco over here. So I'm going to start in this upper corner and I'm going to be working across. So I'll just be putting together a portion at a time. But you can see here where I've got three squares in a row. So what I'm going to do is take my strip and I'm going to lay it down so that it's within the dotted line and I'm just going to take my scissors and cut. If you'd like to cut with your rotary cutter and ruler feel free to do so but I'm just going to cut off of one of my one and a half inch background strips. And next it takes a pink confetti. So now I'm going to put a pink confetti down and now it takes another really long strip so now I'm going to count how many squares over. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need this strip to cover eleven squares. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're a little off the board here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So I'm just going to trim right there. So now you can see where you can use full strips instead of having to cut that background into a bunch of one and a half inch squares. So just uh, put your strip down there instead of a bunch of squares. So now we're going to keep moving on. We have a 
yellow confetti. And then we have more strip. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to just trim. All right, and I'm just going to keep working. So as I'm working here, I wanted to point out the Quilt Smart grid. You will be able to tell which side has the fusible. I'm actually putting these pieces down on the fusible side. My, my fabrics are right side up and wrong side down onto that fusible glue dot that you see. And you'll know that your fusible is up when the writing is upside down. So you'll see the, the Quilt Smart writing is on the non-fusible side. So you will be working with the Quilt Smart writing and logo upside down. So now you've kind of seen how I'm just putting together a puzzle basically. So I'm following the picture that's on the pattern and I'm just placing my squares or long strips down on top of the Quilt Smart on the fusible side. And you'll see where I've put all of my little half square triangles. I got over here and I'm missing a couple so I'm going to have to do a little more sewing but this is enough to kind of show you the gist of how the Quilt Smart works. So now that we've got all of our squares laid out in position, we're going to take an applique sheet. Now this is an applique sheet that's made from a non-stick, it's actually called a polylon, not Teflon, but polylon. And you can put this right on top so that when you go to use your iron, to iron all of this down, it's not going to mess up your iron if you accidentally iron over some of that fusible. If your iron touches that fusible surface, you will get some glue on the bottom of your iron. Not going to say I've never done that before because I sure have. and you're just going to press. And what you're doing when you're pressing is activating that glue. 
so that all of your pieces are glued down. And obviously I'm working in a small area here. You could probably do this on your large sewing, or on your, I'm sorry, on your large pressing surface and get a lot more done than I'm, I'm able to get done. This is a tiny board I'm using. And now I'm just going to position it up a little bit so that I can get these strips up here. If anything has moved, go ahead and pick up your applique sheet and make sure everything is in the right place. Now your half square triangles, you want to make sure that they are situated corner to corner so that your half square triangle seams are hitting each corner of your grid. And you may have to set this on for a little bit of time. If you're finding that your corners are peeling up or if it's not sticking well enough, that just means that you need a little more heat. The Quilt Smart system is great. They have a bunch of different patterns that you can use using this Quilt Smart system. Things that are even a little difficult, um, or what we might think of as difficult to do, such as lone stars, double wedding rings, they have um, a beautiful mariner's compass pattern, things that might be kind of intimidating to some of us, especially me. You're able to do quite easily with the Quilt Smart system. Nancy here at the shop is our Quilt Smart expert. She's going to be putting a few classes on the schedule for this summer. She'll be doing a double wedding ring again. We just had a double wedding ring not too long ago, but it was so successful. We've had several people ask for another class, so we're getting that on the books. She's also going to be doing a Lone Star class. So if you are interested in any of those classes, please call us and let us know. We'll get you on the list. All right, so now you'll see where my squares are all nice and glued down. Get over here and get these squares glued down. Again, you want those half square triangles to be set so that the seams are sitting right in the corners. I think this one goes down here and I'm missing a little half lettuce here and I'm missing one up here but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and iron everything down and you'll see I'm going right over those spots that don't have a square on them but it's okay because it'll just peel right off of your applique sheet. We're just going to let that cool a little bit before I go to peel because I want that glue to stay on my Quilt Smart. All right. So now we are all glued down and just for time's sake I'm going to go ahead and start sewing and then I can do the rest of it later but I'm going to start sewing so all you're going to do is you'll see on the back of your Quilt Smart grid these dotted lines and we're going to fold on that dotted line and I just do a nice finger press so that it wants to lay flat for you and now I'm going to take this to my machine and do a quarter inch seam All right, there's my first seam. So now we can take a look at that. And it looks great. So now let's keep moving. Let's do the next one. We're just going to fold it in half, the next column. You want to do your short seams first. 
and then do your long seams. So we're going to be working the short side first, and then we're going to snip into our seams, which I will show you in a moment. So now I've done several seams on the short side and the next thing you're going to do is just pop into these seams and just snip them. You know, just a, a little bit away from your seam line. You don't want to cut obviously into your thread, but all we want to do is cut these seams and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So I'm just going to keep cutting here. And you can see, again, I only have just a few columns cut here, but this will give you the idea. And then, of course, you know, you can always come into the shop, and we are here to help you. A lot of us have been trained on the Quilt Smart system, so most of us will be able to help you, and if some of us don't know, we always have someone on staff that will be able to help. Okay, so now I've cut into a couple of these seams here just so that I can show you that once all of your short seams have been made all the way down, you're then going to fold your piece and your seams are now going to nest. Now that you've cut into those seams, when you sew your long rows together, those seams are just going to nest beautifully. Just like that. And sometimes you'll have a little bit of fabric stuck in there, but that's okay. Just take your scissors and snip away at it. It's fine. As long as you don't go through your seam line, you can snip right into that seam allowance. And then everything will be nestled and nested. And you can just take this to your machine and sew all the way down each row. You're going to cut every single seam. Just take a little notch so that all of these can nest easily. So thank you so much for watching our video today. So uh, once you've got your Quilt Smart uh, interfacing all sewn together, you're just going to pop these two and a half inch borders on each side, a one and a half inch on the top and the bottom, throw it into another quilt. We've had a couple customers say that they're making all taco quilts, which I thought was hilarious and awesome. So, um, and then if you have any questions, please call us here at the shop. Uh, you can also use this. I'm making this one for myself because um, my mother has a little bar in her house and I think it'll look, look really cute on her bar. So it's going to be a little table runner for her. Or if you want to cut down uh, the size and make it into a cute little placemat, you can do that. So just let us know if you have any questions. Our kit is available here at the shop, $22.95. It comes with all of those fabrics I showed you pre-cut into one and a half inch strips. And then of course, with the row by row, you can come in and just grab this pattern for free. Uh, we are not allowed to ship until November, so that's one of the row by row rules. Um, so I'm sorry, we've had a few phone calls of people from out of state that absolutely love our row. We love that you love our row, but unfortunately it is against the rules for us to ship it to you until the month of November. So hopefully we will have some left, but they are flying out the door right now. So we're really excited that y'all love our row. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call here at the shop, 210-281-1256, or come in and see us. We have lots of new stuff and lots more stuff coming. So really good to spend some time with you today, and I hope that this tutorial helped you.